On Plain Air is the latest exhibition running at the Dr. Foster James Penny Building in downtown Lethbridge. It's running until December 23rd. John joins us to tell us about the exhibition. Tell us about On Plain Air, John. Well, the exhibition that's a, that you'll see in the Penny Building is a, an exhibition of 35 artists, and they were 35 of 84 artists who, over the course of the summer of 2015, spring and summer and fall of 2015, came together at the uh, Coote Centre for Western Canadian Heritage just outside of Nanton, not Coots. And uh, so they came together uh, from, from uh, blossom to harvest, so to speak, and, and worked outside photographers, painters, uh, sketchers, uh, and, and sculptors and they interpreted the environment that they found there. Uh, and so some days they'd be there, it'd be beautiful sunny days, other days it'd be stormy and rainy, clouds on the horizon, a very moody environment. And some days you'd get everything. Uh, it would start off really cold, it'd get super hot, then thunderstorms. And, and you'll see that reflected in the, the, uh, the 98 artworks that are part of this exhibition. And I think that's a very good point that you make. All of the pieces are so different, and it's all in, in this same center. And would you say that kind of reflects the art scene here in southern Alberta and what different artists can offer? Well, I'd, I'd say the uh, hosting this, the on plan art events at the Coote Centre has made us aware of what incredible diversity is, and also the interest that artists have. They're not just uh, professional artists, but also uh, talented amateurs who want to come together in a lovely environment committed to the art uh, that they're that they're making, and the diversity is astounding. It's hard to believe when you're here and see these 98 works. It's hard to believe that they were all at the same place. Although, if anyone manages to have actually visit the Coote Center, uh, the diversity of that place is quite astounding. Uh, there's uh, spectacular gardens that would be a visitor attraction anywhere in the world. They're just so well kept and uh, reflecting the gardens that Jim Coots uh, had, uh, had created in, in his homestead. Uh, and uh, then the environment uh, where you can see the, the prairies rolling away to the foothills and the mountains, uh, the, the town of Nanton and the grain elevators in the distance, and your cell phone doesn't quite work there. So you actually really get outside of yourself. Uh, and, and the artists, uh, I think they find that a, a really good environment to work in. It's a very welcoming environment to work in. Uh, there's buildings in which they can get away from the rain if it's rainy or against away from the, the sun. Of course, a lot of them are very self-sufficient. They bring their materials, they bring their sunshades, they bring their, their lunches, and then uh, they work together and they essentially collaborate in some ways. Uh, people, are, people are, the general public is welcome to come out uh, to those days because uh, next summer we're, we're repeating this again and, and people can watch the art being created right on plein air in the open. That's amazing. What a great environment to be in. Thanks so much, John, for joining us. Really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you very much. That is On Plein Air running at the Dr. Foster James Penny Building until December 23rd.